looking for hip hop and R&B. This is the B to C team. My name is Jenny Boom Boom. DJ Michi's here. What up, Michi? What's up? What's up? All right. And today we have Deja Wilson with us, who is the founder of 413 Kicks. How you doing there, young lady? Hey. Hi, I'm awesome. I am awesome today. <laughs> so talk to me about 413 Kicks. I'm hearing so many great things about this in the Springfield area. Thank you. Um, well, 413 Kicks was basically founded on, you know, just acts of kindness. I, I'm a huge believer in, you know, kindness can take you a long way. So I decided to start 413 Kicks because I'm a sneakerhead myself. I have like mm. tons laid out in the corner. <laughs> so you must, figured, well, you must be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Not that rich. I mean, I save a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so, you know, my love, I wanted to put that passion that I have and you know help other people and you know maybe one pair of shoes can uh you know change somebody's life um forever you know even if it's just one pair of shoes you never know how that person will feel in the future maybe they feel motivated to become a doctor become anything that they put their minds to so you know <laughs> that's basically um what it was founded on and i have a quote um from my angelou my favorite poet and okay. it's People will forget what what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel, right? So yeah. that's kind of what 413 Kicks is based off of, is making people feel good. Just with a pair of sneakers. <laughs> well, so you're like young, very young. <laughs> yes. So, you know, how old are you? I'm 19. I, I attend UMass Dartmouth. Um, wow. So I'm a oh, sophomore. Nice. <laughs> My daughter actually got accepted to that school, uh, my daughter Summer, and she chose not to go there. And I'm still mad at her till this day. Uh, she went to <laughs> New York, but what an extraordinary school that is. Um, yes. So what is your major? Um, actually, I just changed it to sociology with a minor in business administration. Okay. Hmm. Business sounds about right with what's going on in your world. Um, yes, so yes, it does. You being 19 years old, 19-year-old kids are worried about being at parties, uh, you know, they're worried <laughs> right. about different things than someone my age. So I'm really touched about the fact that you're 19 and you started this organization, this nonprofit organization. Yeah, I mean, I, it's mostly because I'm antisocial. <laughs> oh. So, you know, I, I figured out a way to help people where I didn't have to, you know, talk like a whole bunch. I didn't have to go to like parties and things like that. So this is what I spent my time doing instead of partying. <laughs> and now you're screwed because we're going to want you to come on like every other month. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, fine. Um, you guys are awesome. <laughs> so Michi, I know that you're a big sneaker head as well. Yeah. So do you want to ask her at all about her collection of sneakers? Because I'm sure well, you guys have have some sort of comparison thing you have to do i can't be involved in this conversation so well yeah no i was i was gonna i was gonna ask her what like what's your favorite uh sneaker oh this is a great question right so on my logo is mm -hmm. in a is a, a jordan 11 and okay. they i forgot what they're called originally because they're like they're not like a, a famous colorway yep. so they're um it's a blue um oh man i'm not like a term sneakerhead kind of person but like yep. the top of it is blue and the soles are gummies yep. um and so like they're the tan tan gummies and so that's the logo that i put on everything because those are my favorite pair okay um so definitely those 11s <laughs> i know exactly what you're talking about that's what's up <laughs> michi probably has like four pairs of them <laughs> <laughs> now nah, the uh, 11s are actually like my favorite uh jordan pair too so that's that's super dope why do you guys I love definitely them so just they're comfortable or <laughs> i just think that or? uh I, well, I, I like the I like Jordan ones too, and I, mm. I just kind of think that the Elevens kind of look like the ones, not 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 just like that, but compared to like any of the other Jordans, they're kind of similar in a sense. So yeah, I, that's probably why I like them. Definitely, they're very comfortable too. But yeah. I also got a new pair of um Vapor Max that I love. Those are probably like number two on the list. <laughs> nice, nice. nice. Mm -hmm. See me over here just smiling, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I buy sneakers for my kids, you know? I mean, after that, I, there's no money left. All right. So, so Deja, tell me about how you got 413 Kick started. Um, well, I basically, while I was at school my first year, I, um, <laughs> I would I was a part of the uh Big Brothers Big Sisters program and so I noticed that like while I was in the schools I noticed you know okay well I love sneakers and you know I know it can be hard for some of these people some for some of the 
afford <laughs> the sneakers. They're very expensive. They are very exactly. expensive. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Even as you just said, like you know, you buy the sneakers and there's no money left. You know, nobody for I mean? the light bill, so Deja. I, nobody <laughs> for the light bill. <laughs> no money, and we we want to make fun of the issue. We want we want parents to be able to afford those. You know, it's one less worry. Um, so just one less worry is those sneakers just for this. I, we were supposed to go to school. Obviously things changed. So that was our, our main goal was to, um, provide sneakers for the new school year. So they have them for whenever they do go back. Right. Cause in Springfield, <laughs> but, are they, are they at home? All the kids are home? Yeah, they're at home. Okay. For now. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, I think this is just such a wonderful thing because like you said, it is hard and you know, it's sad because a lot of kids, especially, you know, I don't really think like the smaller kids, but as they get a little older, kids get made fun of, right. you know, exactly. over this situation, which is just awful. That's, um, that, that's what I was going to say, because like with sneakers, it might sound crazy, but like I remember just being in school, it was kind of like an empowering thing. Like when you had brand new sneakers, you, it made you feel good. When you had the exactly. pop popular sneakers, it made you feel good. So it's just kind of one of those things where, you know, you you get older and then you kind of look back now like I, I remember the past couple of years you know I would be I would be a part of like toy drives and stuff like that and ask some of these organizations like what do you guys need the most of and they would say like we need sneakers like some of these kids mm -hmm. don't have sneakers and then I would I would think back when I was younger like how much sneakers meant to me like I need like I wanted sneakers every Christmas I wanted sneakers every birthday like it was mm -hmm. it, that's a it's a thing so yeah, yeah I definitely hear you yeah. Exactly. And me, myself, I was always bullied. I was always picked on. I'm taller, so I was always picked on. You know, it costs a little bit more for me to buy shoes because I wear, like, men's sizes. So uh, growing up, I never – I didn't want – I don't want people to feel how I felt, so that's why I kind of, you know, sneakers was my go-to because I didn't – I sometimes wasn't able to have the best sneakers, so I want other kids to be able to have the best sneakers. And people, adults in general because we don't need to adults as well. Now, how do you how do you go about like distributing them as far as just like are are you getting donations as far as like people donating sneakers? Are you are you uh, figuring out the sneakers that people want and then you're going to get them or like how how are you how are you making that happen? So our first our my first drive uh, went to the Boys and Girls Club. So I worked with Keyshawn Dodds, the director over there. And, you know, he gave me a list of names of like the kids and their sizes and all those things. But um <laughs> my dad just walked in <laughs> hi dad um hi, dad. he says hello, hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry i lost my train of thought oh um, so yeah your donations yes so we basically we accept we accept sneakers brand new sneakers because we know like people have shoes that have holes in them and things like that and we we don't want those sneakers because we want other people to wear those sneakers not for you to have not for them to have the ones you wore mm. a million times and so we do accept monetary donations on our website and we do accept um just plain sneaker donations uh through my email which is mass 413 kicks at gmail.com and so basically when we go to through distributing them when it's like people on the street it's kind of just like okay, what sizes do I have? Do I look, does it look like they um, can fit those sneakers? I start, I go up to go up to them and ask them their sizes and different things like that. And just go ahead and get the sneakers and bring it to them. If like, if I have them, if I have the size. And so <laughs> that must make people so do. incredibly happy. Like you yeah. must love the reaction. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> sure. It's awesome. Yeah. So, so for your first drive, how, how many sneakers did, were you able to give away? We gave away 45 oh, in total. Nice. Yes. Oh, 45 pairs to 45 kids, right? At the yes. Boys and Girls Club, I saw. Yes, ma'am. Um, that's incredible. The kids must have felt so amazing. Yeah, and, like, they were all different sizes and colors, and they were, like, because a lot of them were, like, I know this is one example of one of the kids that – um they were wearing their brother's shoes and their brother's shoes were too tight on them. So they were like sharing shoes. And so to be able to help fix that situation um, was like really like inspiring to me because like I've never had to be in that situation, but you know, to help somebody who is, is definitely like rewarding. That is so heartbreaking, Deja. Yeah. It really is. It's very, it's so heartbreaking. And I know families struggle so much and 
uh, I just love that you're doing this. This is so great. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so do you have a team of people behind you helping you? I hope. I mean, um, it's mostly my parents. <laughs> hey, it's just me and my what? parents. <laughs> Salute to mom and dad. Right. <laughs> right. So they're awesome. My mom and my dad and my stepdad, they're, they're great. Um, when it comes to helping out, especially when, um, they were, my mom and my dad were there the day I distributed. So like they made the process completely easier, um, a lot easier than me just being by myself. Right. So I'm sure that you're going to keep going. I mean, this is like your thing now, right, Deja? Yes, of course. I can't stop now. I can't. <laughs> right. So, so what's the next step for you? The next step, even though we're not like a 501c nonprofit organization yet, that's kind of my next goal is to get, you know, so we can get like grants and all the different money kind of flowing in so mm -hmm. I can provide more sneakers. Um, so that's the next step. And then also I will be collecting donations for um, just, you know, I want to do a winter shoe drive, you know, helping people, 100 people get their uh, best foot forward, basically. Get it? Nice. I like that. I like that best foot forward. Good job, Deja. <laughs> thanks, thanks. And so that's kind of my next goal. So in the next couple of months, you'll probably hear something about a shoe drive and working with like lo other local organizations um, to help make people feel good, to get sneakers on their feet. So just 100 if you... You know anybody who wants to get rid of some sneakers that are newer? <laughs> right. So um, you said new originally, but I was thinking too. I know a lot of people that collect sneakers. Yeah. And right. I've never have you know. I'm gonna say like maybe worn them once or twice. You know. So are you taking those types of donations too? If they've been kept in pristine shape, like wrapped in plastic. I mean, we know a lot of people like that, Michi. Right. That just yeah. give up to, like hundreds of pairs of sneakers. So if people are mm -hmm. looking to unload some of those classic sneakers. Are you willing to take them? Oh, most definitely. We just don't want the shoes with the holes. Those yeah, ones, no but holes. anything else. Yeah, no holes. No, no, no. Yeah. So definitely like pristine condition. Just. Things that you would feel good wearing if somebody gave to you. So when you're dealing with the kids, especially, what size seems to be that, that keeps it coming up for you that you're like, I really need to make sure to get this size in? Um, they're all so different. I actually, I don't think I had like more than two repeat sizes, two or three. Really? Like they're okay. All so, so you're like really dealing with a variety of stuff here. Yeah, and then there's like they have men's sizes and women's sizes, and then they have like the kid sizes, then they have like the preschool sizes. So they're just all over the place. <laughs> Are you going to be working moving forward? Like, you, I know you just did the Boys and Girls Club, and you're a member of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Are you going to be working with certain, you know, foundations or uh, community organizations moving forward that you're excited about, or? I am hoping to get in touch with friends of the homeless in downtown Springfield. I drive by them all the time. I know, I know who can be out there. I know what goes on, you know, and so, and all the great that they do in the community. So I really want to, um, you know, make contact with them and see what I can do to donate the sneakers, you know, or anything else that they need. So what is your goal moving forward as far as how many sneakers you're going to donate? Let's do, let's um, move on to the next year because this year sucks. Let's do 2021. <laughs> this year, I'm moving on to, I'm already in 2021, girl. Okay. Oh, so definitely. What would be your ultimate goal? How many pairs of sneakers would you like to donate in 2021? In 2021, I would like to donate 500 sneakers. That's really, I wanted to go 500. bigger. I wanted to go bigger. <laughs> I wanted to do a, a thousand, thousand pairs. I wanted to do a thousand, a thousand pairs. pairs. Yeah, that's what I, I think wanted. we can do that. I think so I too. Think we I, can do that. So all anybody has to do is go to 413kicks.org and donate. Yes. And also Deja, it. also Deja, a lot of companies, they can write it off on their taxes when they make donations. So right. feel mm -hmm. free to call these companies that sell these sneakers. You know, because I right. know even though a lot of places are struggling right now, like I said, they can write it off on their taxes. Mm -hmm. So call right, them exactly. and say, would you be willing to make a donation to my, you know, nonprofit organization? This is how I'm, you know, this is how I'm going to use your donation and see whether or not, you know, they'll, they'll kick in. Right. right, exactly. And I have been doing that with, you know, local businesses. Um, so on my website, I do have like a sponsors list. 
Oh, yeah, they're, can they're you name awesome. Some the, they're great. Can you please name some of the sponsors for me right now? Of course. We have Kingdom Building and Contracting. He's a great guy, Brian Mitchell. Uh, all of his information can be found at kingdombuildingandcontracting.com. The link is also, all the links for the websites are in my, uh, um, are on my website. And we also have Potter's Wheel Community Service. They do a great job with diversity and inclusion in, in workplaces and all different things. Um, so they're great too, as well as Simply Divine Beauty Lounge. Got my hair done from them, of course. Okay, good job. <laughs> so they're great as well. Um, so all of my sponsors are great. Um, and so we also have a. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We also have um, my friend. She she restores the sneakers that are you know a little extra worn. Wow. So that so so people can because I don't turn away any shoes unless they obviously have holes as I keep saying, <laughs> right. but um, so for the ones that need to be a little helped, she does uh, those ones. So you can also find her information on my website too. How does she fix the sneakers? Just cleaning them and? Um, she cleans them, repaints them, re oh. she completely restores them. Like, especially like Icy Bottom, she does a f fantastic job with them. And wow. I mean, I'm about to, I'm about I know you don't know. Sneakers over there. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's her name? <laughs> um, well, she she likes to go by Brie, so Brie. definitely go to her um go to her Facebook page. Um, so Rags to Riches is her 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 brand. Okay. I need my Yeezys clean. So yeah. <laughs> see, there we go with those fancy sneakers again, Deja. He's got right. Right. Uh, are you? I know you said you don't turn any sneakers away, but say somebody wants to maybe not donate a Nike, but you know something that's maybe a little bit lower down in price. Uh, would mm -hmm. you accept those as well? Of course, I've accepted Airwalks, all of them. Like you know, people people will wear the shoes that you give them. So right. any right. kind of brand, any brand matters. Any any brand, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Uh, well, this great. is just really extraordinary, Deja. You know what I'm thinking about too the the fact that you're in Springfield. Uh, you should you should try to maybe reach out to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Like right. they might, you know, that might be a good connection to make as far as far as just you know that type of support because I'm pretty sure you know they want to do a lot of stuff in the community as well. They have a lot of connections. You have the the Hall of Fame every year, the enshrinement with a lot of the right. NBA, you know, stars that come up and stuff like that. When we talk to Deja in six months, uh, her company is going to have a million dollars in it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? It's, it's folks like yourself that, you know, we, we want to help, you know, mm -hmm. really want to help because you're just doing something out of the kindness of your heart. You're not making any money off it. And, and it's, it's time consuming. It's time consuming. <laughs> right. It is time consuming. Uh, yeah. But I think it's just a beautiful thing, you know, that you're actually, and, you know, I, especially my heart gets touched for these kids, you know? Um, right. So when I hear that you're helping out the kids, it really makes me feel uh, so great, Deja. Thank you. Thank you. It make, you can just imagine how it makes me feel like, whew. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure. So uh, the, the website is 413kicks.org. There, there's a donation button on there. Tell me the process. Yes. So basically, you'll go to 413kicks.org. There's multiple on the homepage. If you scroll down and uh, click the donation button, you can donate there. Um, it'll take you to a secure site. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting hacked or anything like that. <laughs> um, and then there's also like, I believe it is the 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 contact us page also has a donate button. Oh, Deja um, froze up a little bit. Deja, you okay? Oh, no. She might have to sign off and come back on. Um, yeah, I think she froze up. It's just Zoom. Yeah. I mean, who I should have bought stock in, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Deja, you there? That yep. Oh, uh -huh. I heard you, Deja. I hear you, Deja. Okay, good. Thank God. All right. Good, good, good. Sometimes people, have to, sometimes people have to log off and come back on during the interview. The whole thing. <laughs> you know, this COVID-19 oh, this COVID nineteen interview situation is crazy, but at least we get to still talk to you and see your lovely face, right? 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I know with the holidays, especially coming up, I'm sure you need donations. So Almost everybody definitely. needs to jump on 413kicks.org right now and make a monetary donation. And companies that are listening right now, because I know y'all out there, mm -hmm. uh, and you have you know sneakers to donate, you should hit up 413kicks.org also uh, and you know offer up anything you can give. Anything, Anything you can give is great, you know, uh, because you want to make some kids and adults too very happy for the winter time. You know, it's about to be winter time, and we all, um, you know, are changing over our wardrobes and the right. sneakers that the kids had during the summer. Some of them had back to school in because their parents couldn't afford. So um, I donate and make you feel good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Deja, I'm so proud of you. You're in your sophomore year of college. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I look forward to seeing you blossom into even a greater adult than you already are. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many plans, so many dreams, and I'm happy that this could be like, you know, the first. Forty-five pairs of sneakers, the boys and girls clubs. You're working with big brothers, big sisters. And are you going to continue your work with both of those? groups yes i am yes i am <laughs> i actually have a little girl she's awesome uh she's on the the eastern coast at the moment because you know that's where i'm kind of stationed out um during the school year so whenever you know i hope soon to get in contact with her um because she was an awesome little girl definitely my motivation for 413 kicks and yeah <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Deja Wilson, thank you so much. She is the founder of 413 Kick. Again, the website is 413kicks.org. And we are looking for monetary. Well, I'm not, I'm not on that website, but you're looking for monetary <laughs> and sneaker donations. And again, your donation is not too small. So whatever right. you can give, give. And whatever sneakers gently used or brand new that you can donate, uh, she is looking for your donations to help out people in need. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Deja. We'll talk to you again. Thank you. Thank you. I, it was great being on here. Oh, anytime, oh, girl. Thank you. <laughs>